Hey everybody, it's Mama J and we are back with our comic book series. Will they stay or will they go? So I got another pile here we're gonna go through and we're gonna see which ones we're keeping and which ones we're not. So I can get them separated and make some space for the ones I want. I need to make room for the ones I wanna collect. I do wanna get start getting the female force I, is what it is called. I did show off my very first one that I bought pink in a prior video, I believe, hopefully. Thus I forgot. So we're gonna go through these and we're gonna see what we're keeping and what we're not. Here we go, we got Phantom Obsession. This is a Kiss one, so it is stain number two. That is staying in our collection. All right, this one right here is Jim Morrison, obviously. I just don't remember what this is for, but this cover obviously is fire and will never leave my collection. Next one obviously is stain. Also, I know this one there are copies with a certain insert or something that are worth more. I don't have one of those copies, <laughs> okay? I checked. Not that I would care anyways, but this is Mr. Alice Cooper, special 50th edition of Marvel Premiere. This comic book is listed as a 40 cent comic book. Alice's first comic book appearance. I actually do have a couple copies of this. They will not be leaving my collection. So there's that one with Mr. Alice Cooper. This next one is Harley Quinn. This is uh, Deceased number one, cover F, because there are multiple covers. And I believe the last time I looked this one up, it was like a 28, 29. I know it was like just under $30 for this comic book. Uh, not keeping that one. I like Harley, but it's not for my collection. The next one we got here is Deceased. Also, this one is a, what cover is this? This is a number one. This is an art cover, F. And this one I think was just under $20 last time I looked. I believe that's uh, Batgirl. And this one over here would be Poison Ivy. Pretty awesome cover, just not for my collection. Uh, this next one here is Stargazer. I'm not really sure what this is. It's um, number one, Stargazer. It's not staying in my collection. Again, I'm not really sure even what it is. The next one we have here is Gen Lock DC based on the hit animated series. Not a keeper for me. This one will not be staying. And then we have, let's see, what is this one? The Batman Eternals. This cover's actually pretty nice. The New 52, uh, but I'm not a Batman collector, but this cover is actually pretty cool. I don't know. I may keep it for the cover, but probably not. <laughs> but it's an awesome cover. Put it in the not keeping pile at the moment. Now this one, I know, I wanna open this one because this is a 1989 first print. But if I remember correctly, before I show you guys, I wanna take a peek at the back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so what it is, and oh, okay, I do have the other one right there. Okay, cool. So hold on one second, sorry guys. Okay, so real quick, what I got here, these are, the next two I'm gonna show you guys together because honestly, it's the same comic book one is showing the front, one is showing the back. I got two because at first I didn't realize it was the same comic book. And then once I realized it, I said, well, because I bag and board them, I want to be able to see that I have both. So these two right here, Warrant and White Snake, this is, um, they're both first printings from 1989. When you flip them around, like the back of the White Snake will have the Warrant cover, the back of the Warrant will have the White Snake cover. So they are exactly the same. I will be keeping both of those. The next one we got here is from February 4th. It looks a little older. It's $1.75. Oh, wait, there's a year. 1992. Uh, all is not, all in all, not a good day. This is Night Stalker. This will not be a keeper for me. But that's a cool cover, but it's just not a keeper for me. The next one I got here I know is an X-Men cover. I don't know much about it. It's number eight, but it's not an X-Men cover that would even come close. Got a little bend up there uh, to staying in my collection. So that is not a keeper. Uh, another one we got here. This one here is Avengers West Coast guest starring Spider-Woman. You know, it's so funny. I remember when one of my friend's little girls was little. 
she just was obsessed with spider woman and spider woman was the hardest character to find things okay back then you could hardly find any spider one and not spider girl she liked spider woman and that was the whole thing so i don't even know that it's easy to find now this says 50 years captain america 41 to 91 enter the pacific overload but again here is this and it says guest starring spider woman like i'm guessing since marvel doesn't own spider-man they don't own any of the spider people <laughs> right no spider woman spider girl i'm assuming that's still all owned by whoever owns uh spider-man the next one we got here is dead man this is from 1985 you have failed to kill dead man hook the penalty for failure is death no, you can't kill him. The hook is mine. Um, I guess that's the name of this character down here with the hook. But this one will not be staying in my collection. It's a really cool cover, but not staying. So out of all of those, the ones that we are keeping, we have three. We have six comics that we will be keeping. Yes, two of them are the same, but because they are different stories, depending on which way you read it. We will be keeping those. So these are staying. The other ones are going. Let me know down below. Out of all the comics we show, I show. Out of all the comics I show it off, which ones do you like the best? Which characters are your favorite? DC or Marvel? Let me know. You know, it's always the battle. I like DC, but I do like some Marvel too. But I'm not huge on Marvel. I'm not huge on DC. I'll be honest either. You know, I always say I'm not huge on Marvel. I'm not really huge on DC either. Okay, DC, you got Wonder Woman and, because he's so damn sexy, Aquaman. Okay, and then, you know, over on Marvel, we got Hugh Jackman. And, you know, and I like X-Men. I've seen every X-Men movie. Okay, I, I do like the X-Men movies. Uh, but anyway, so we'll be keeping those. The rest will be going. And don't forget that comment can get you entered in a giveaway. And my Patreons get something every month. From trading cards to, I don't know, they could get comics. They could get pops. They could get designer toys. They could get lounge flies. It just depends if they're the winner or what I'm giving out that month. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the link down below. At the $5 tier or higher, you're guaranteed something. And to be in a giveaway probably more than one each month. All right. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.